can't do my video with all that noise going in in the next room. Would you stop? Ugh, brothers and sisters, too many. Hi, my name is Luca, and um, I, I've done this before, but I'm here to tell you all about the books that I like. But first, I have to tell you a story. You see, um, 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 about uh, two weeks ago, I was in school, and there was this girl with curly, 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 curly hair, and she was sitting near me, and she said something about how she didn't like my new haircut, and, and I told her I thought it was beautiful, but she said it wasn't, and so I told her that she wasn't pretty either, and, and I told her that her dress made her look um, goofy, and, and then she started to cry because her grandmother gave her that dress, and so then I had to write a whole paragraph essay on how to be kind. So my teacher said also I had to read this book. It's called We Are Kind, and I read it. And it meant a lot to me. And it told me about how I need to share and not use ugly words and say nice things. And even if someone's not nice to me, to be nice back. So it made me start thinking because I have so many friends at the library. Miss Jillian, Miss Christine, Miss Jennifer, Miss Marilyn. Miss Marilyn, I could go to the library and ask them to help me find books. So I went to the library and I found a whole bunch of a boatload, that's what my grandmother says, but a whole boatload of books on kindness. So this is just one, so I hope you could read that. But look, um, you can make the world be a better place. You, you can make the world a better place. Be kind. That's about all the words of this book I can read, but my mommy and I read it, read one page of it every single night. So I hope you can read it because it says, I'll tell you the one that we um, learned first. It says, it's got a big word in it, so I might mess up the word. Okay, it says, it says, be a hug and, and, mom, what's that big word? What? Oh, ambassador. And it says, first, ask if somebody wants a hug. If the answer is yes, then hug them. That's so nice. I don't know if I can hug that girl with the curly, 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 curly hair, but I can be nicer to her. I'll smile at her. That's what it says to do, too. To smile so I hope you can go to the library and check out this book you can make the world a happier place be kind because this is the time of the year to be kind okay now I'm gonna show you some more and I'm gonna go through them a little faster because I want to have time to share them all with you because the library is such a wonderful wonderful place this one's called Janine and I really liked it because this girl Janine it reminds me of a book you know my teacher says to make connections from one book to another and so I was reading this other book, and it was called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. And that's what this book made me think of, because this girl wants to be herself all the time. But there's another girl in her class who says, oh, you can't do that. If you have a party, nobody's going to come or nobody wears their hair like that. And that's what she says, and that's not kind. So it's, it's, it's showing you what not to do if you want to be somebody's friends, friend. And Janine is... is um learns that it's just that one girl that doesn't like what she does. It's not all the other kids in the class, and they all come to her party. So I think you should read this book. It's really, 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 really nice. Okay, so this book, this book my big brother Paul read to me, and and, and, and um, it's really sweet because it's about a girl that comes to the school. Oh, i got to tell you the name first. It's um, Each Kindness uh, by Jacqueline Woodson, I think. And, and, and so she, she comes to the school and she doesn't have a lot of money and she doesn't have clothes that look very nice and, and she's a stranger. And um, all the boys and the girls are not really nice to her. It's not that they're mean. Nobody's mean. They just don't invite her to play and they don't sit beside her at lunch and they don't do any of those things that you're supposed to do to be kind. And so then one day they come to school and she's gone and it was too late. It was too late to be kind. So you can read that one. And... Um, that's a good one too. Oh, and this is a beautiful book. It's beautiful. It, it would be the only way to make it more beautiful is if it had turbals in it. But it does it has a bear in it? And the um, the bear lives in this world. Um, it's called the Invisible Bear, and he lives in this world that's just gray and and white. Even though those can be pretty colors, he he's, his life is very boring. And then this lady, this lady moves in next to him, and the lady looks a lot like the lady that lives near me, um, Miss Pollywall. Miss Pollywall lives down the street from me, and um, 
she comes next door to him and she does kind things for him and does all kinds of nice favors and, and brings him gifts and stuff like that. And she made his world cheerful. And I can't show you the rest of the pictures because you want to be surprised by the colors, okay? So then um, my teacher said I had to find a book that I could read by myself. So I found this book. It's called I Am Kind. And it, 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 the, the librarian taught me that it has right here a star J at the top. And the author's last name is, starts with a C, but I can't say it. Um, but anyway, um, she said I could read this one by myself. The librarian did. And then my teacher said that this would work. And so I read it. It's called I Am Kind. And even though it's not as beautiful as some of the other books, it made me really proud and happy that I could read it to myself. So then, you know, I have seven brothers and sisters. And, and um and so I, I, I'm going to have another one soon. But I, I went to everybody in my family and I read the book to them. So they would be kind to me and to other people. So that would be a good one for you to read. Um, this, of course, you can't go wrong with a Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss books are wonderful. You Are Kind featuring Horton, the elephant. You know, that funny elephant that hears the who. So that one is really good too. Um, I, I, I think my favorite, favorite, favorite author is Todd Parr. And every time we go to the library, we find another tar Todd Parr book. And my mama says that Todd Parr really knows what the world is about. I don't know what that means, but that's what she says. And so, um, the kindness book is, um, is just what it says. It tells about ways that you could be kind. Look how pretty the colors are. They're gorgeous. And it's got mice and dogs and people with, with funky hair and, uh, and this one I like the best because if you can read it, you can read it now. If not, you have to wait for somebody to read it to you because I'm going to leave it as a surprise. Okay. All right. Now, the next one, next one I thought was so funny because this little bird right here, it's called Trevor. And this little bird right here, he thinks this is another bird, but it's not. It's a lemon. And so he tries to be kind to the lemon because he thinks it's another bird, but it just doesn't work out, you know. I can't tell anymore because that would be giving away the book. But I liked it because the pictures are, again, really pretty. Look at that beautiful yellow. Yellow is the color of bananas. And, and, and I love bananas. And, and, and so uh, I like to play games that have bananas in them too. Okay, so this one's called Goat's Coat. Goat's Coat. And it, it's a very good story. It, the pictures are a little, little hard to get used to, but you can do it. Um because um, it's still a good book about kindness. And he has a new coat, and he goes walking through the forest, he being the goat. And, and he goes to all these animals, and they say, oh, I wish I had something to keep my nose warm. And he gives away part of his coat. and It's just a really good book. You could read this book ahead of time, and then you could share it, share it at the holiday time, read it to somebody that you think needs to know about kindness, or you could share it with a younger brother or sister. And since my mom's gonna have a baby around Christmas time, I'm going to read that one to my, my um, little brother or sister that's coming. Okay, Tomorrow I'll Be Kind. This is the one the librarian recommended the most to me. It was on their list of recommend, recommend, recommendations. That was the word I learned. And, um, and look, look. Look at that rabbit hugging somebody. I think you would really like this one. And, and it's called Tomorrow I'll Be Kind. That's pretty neat. I like that one. Oh, if you like rabbits, though, you should read this one. If you plant a seed, if you plant a seed, and that's sort of like that. That's sort of like saying that that being kind to one person is like planting a seed, and then kindness grows, and that's what this is sort of about. But this rabbit um, it has an experience with all these other animal friends, and um, the colors and the pictures. Are so nice and it's even got just simple you could probably read this one to yourself too some of the words might be big but i got that one at the library too it's it's what they call picture book and um i, I think i've seen pictures but by, by that person before oh you know who my favorite is though right i love pete the cat pete the cat changed my life when i found him at the age of four i, I just didn't know what i would do without pete the cat because i love him so much and this is pete the cat's groovy guide to kindness Tips from a cool cat on how to be kind. And and and, and um, this one, this one, my grandmama, bye-bye, read to me. And so it says, kindness is, what's that word? Like when you spread a cold? Kindness is contagious. That's what it is. And um, 
and, and it talks about doing favors, and it shows ways that Pete can be kind, and it talks about famous people telling you ways to be kind, and um, my mama said that this person, the Dalai Lama, it is really a kind man that um, lives somewhere out in the world, but he's, that's all he's about is kindness every day, so of course he would be in this book. So that's Pete the Cat's Groovy Guide to Kindness. Almost finished, Mom. It's, I'm doing well because David and Paul aren't making loud noises. Okay. All right. Okay. So this book is really neat. It's called I Walk with Vanessa. And, and if you're expecting to read this book, like with the words and struggle with the words, surprise, there's no words in it. Ha! So you have to make up your own story. But I liked it because you have to figure out what's happening in the story. And, and your story could be different than your brothers or your sisters. Because uh, my sister Mary read it along with my sister Gailey. And Gailey read it and she's like came up with a whole different story than I came up with. So really, it's a book you could read in the whole family. I Walk with Vanessa. And oh, I got so many. I'm sorry. But you don't have to get all of these. But One Good Day, that one's good. It's about a place that's really dark and sad and nobody smiles. And then somebody does a good deed. And just like in that book that said that you could catch kindness. Well, that's what happens in this book. So I recommend it for people who really like the color green because the end pages are pretty and green. And for people who like to see what kinds of things they can do for their neighbors. Yeah, this makes it sort of like a comic book with the circles in it and different things happening in it. So, okay. Um, this one is called um, Super Buns. Super Buns. I didn't know this until I learned that buns is another word for bottom. <laughs> so then I thought, how's that going to be about kindness? But anyway, his name is Super Buns, and he wants to dress like Super Buns all the time. He has a real name, and, and right now I can't remember it. But he goes around the world doing kind things. Well, really, just around his neighborhood. But here's his picture. Isn't it funny? Look at that. <laughs> I laughed and I laughed and I laughed and I laughed. And, and um, um, he has a cape, and, and his sister is mean like my my sister mary and um so he teaches her how to be kind in this book it's called um super buns and and his sister's name is blossom which i think is funny because that's a flower thing okay and this one of course you couldn't describe it any better than just the title two simple words can change the world that's what it says on the back and look look at can you see that picture you see the picture of the the little girl helping the other little girl because she broke her glasses. Oh, man. It made, oh, I'm telling you. Um, it, it, it said, okay, but I want to show you. Color purple, that's really pretty. Um, but this girl spills um, paint on her shirt. And all the other kids laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And it's just not nice. But this other girl decides she can figure out a way to help and be kind and make that girl feel better. Okay, look at that big old stack of books. That's a lot of books, but I got one more to tell you, and I like, I want to read a page of it from you. It's called Take Care, and I can read this one myself, too, but I only read this one page because I have, still have to read it this afternoon, and that one page says, reach out to the world, to the big and the small. So everybody needs kindness. That's what it says to me. Reach out to the world, to the big and the small. So my mom and I, we talked a lot about the kindness, especially after I got in trouble in school. And we decided that you just can't be kind around the holidays, but it's a good time to start. So I hope that you can be. And I'm going to have my, uh, I'm going to finish reading this one. And then when my grandma Vava comes over, I'm going to have her read this one to me. Kindness is cooler, Mrs. Ruler. And, and, um, I don't know what it's about, but I'm really excited. So I'm going to have my grandma bye bye read it to me. Okay, so you're going to be kind? I hope so because that's the important thing, especially when you're in school or out of school or you're on the, um, the computer talking to a friend or even if you don't want to, your brothers and your sisters. You have to be kind. And you have to be kind to the animals in the world, especially the ones that, that live out in the wild and don't have anybody to feed them like we do our pets. So, you know. Make sure that you are helping to take care of those animals and, and take care of the world and be kind. Thank you for joining me. Are we having spaghetti?
boys and girls, this is Grandma Vai Vai. I'm Luca Manuka's grandmama, and I am going to share with you a story that I read to her. She said, Grandmama, please read this story to my friends because I think they will love it so much. So I said I would. Are you ready to listen? Sit back, relax, and let's go. Kindness is cooler, Mrs. Ruler. Kindness is Cooler, Mrs. Ruler is written by Marjorie Kyler, illustrated by Sachiko Yoshikawa. It is a Simon & Schuster book. It is very important that I tell you that because as I've always told my sweet Luca, that if you're going to read a story to someone, you should give credit for who has written it and who has given you permission to share it. It was cold, it was rainy, and Mrs. Ruler's class hadn't been outside all week. The students were getting jumpy and grumpy, and Naya and Dewana whispered during story time. David pulled Rakalita's ponytail, and Rakalita stole his hat. Then David grabbed Connor's hat and threw it into the hole. That's enough! Too rough! shouted Mrs. Ruler. The bell rang. It was time for recess. As the kids left, Mrs. Ruler kept Anaya, Tawana, Connor, Rockalita, and David behind. Sit down, don't frown, she said. Now tell me, why do you think I've kept you here from recess? We were acting up, mumbled Connor. That's right, you were being mean to one another, and you act as if it's cool to be mean, but it's not. What is a cooler way to act? Rakaleta spoke up. Kindness is cooler, Mrs. Ruler, she said. Bravo! A slice of nice makes a mile of smile. You five need to practice being kind. During the next few days, I want you to perform five acts of kindness for your families. Then in show and tell you can share what you did with the rest of your class. David scowled. What if I don't feel like being kind? He asked. Mrs. Ruler smiled. Good deeds feel needs. Count on me, you'll see, she said. The next day, Anaya and Tawana couldn't wait for show and tell. When it was their turn, they ran to the front of the class. We did ten acts of kindness last night, said Tawana. Before dinner, I made special placemats. I set the table, said Anaya. I threw hearts on the napkins to show Ma we love her, said Tawana. I grated the cheese for the macaroni, said Anaya. I helped make the salad, said Tawana. After dinner, we carried the dishes to the sink, said Anaya. And I loaded the dishwasher, said Tawana. Well, I took out the garbage, added Anaya. Then I sponged off the table, said Tawana. And I straightened up the chairs, finished Anaya. Mom told us how much she liked our homework. It put her in such a good mood that we want to do more nice things for her. Bravo, said Mrs. Ruler. Ten kind acts will lead to more. Give me the chalk and I'll keep score. Then she wrote the twins' deeds on the blackboard. When she was finished, she looked at David. What about you? she asked. Did you practice too? No, said David. I just could get into it. Oh my, please try. Kindness is cooler, said Mrs. Ruler. After school, Rakeletta invited Connor over for a play date. She had a new dog and a big family, and there were lots of ways Rakeletta and Connor could practice being kind. In show and tell the next day, they shared kindness with the, with the class. We took paddles for a walk said Rakalita. 
and I, I and I threw him a ball. I filled his water dish, said Connor. And I gave him some puppy chow, said Rockalita. Puppy chow, wow, said Mrs. Ruler. Then we built a block tower with my little brother, said Rockalita. And gave Abuela and Abuelita their cage before they took a walk. We also helped Rockalita's dad carry the groceries from the car, said Connor. And I gave my baby sister her bottle, said Rockalita. I count eight, and eight is great, said Mrs. Ruler. That's not all, said Connor. When I got home, I took in the mail. I also carried the clean laundry upstairs. Bravo, said Mrs. Ruler. All together, you did ten. And how much do the twins' ten acts and your ten make? Twenty, shouted the class. That's right, said Mrs. Ruler. Twenty is plenty. But how about you, David? What did you do? Too few for you, said David. The class laughed. I told my brother I liked his haircut, and I let him use my, my comb. That's all I could think of. Well, that's a start. Keep doing your part very good, said Mrs. Ruler. Lauren raised her hand. I'd like to do some kind of kindness when I get home today, too, she said. Okay, hooray, said Mrs. Ruler. Let's turn this into a class project. For the rest of the week, I'd like you to bring in some kind of acts of kindness that you've done at home. I'll write your acts on paper hearts, and we'll put them on the bulletin board, and I'll add the ones from the blackboard. More acts of kindness. Put away clothes, vacuumed living room rug, shelved books, let my big brother use my computer, told dad I liked his shirt, got sister a band-aid when she scanned her knee, and more kindness, cleaned my room, fed goldfish, emptied waste baskets, watered house plants, put groceries away, drew pictures with my little sister, told my sister that she had nice teeth. The class really came through. We'll have so many, we'll need another wall, Mrs. Ruler exclaimed. Let's count. One, two, three. The children counted until they reached 35. Bravo, said their teacher. Now try skip counting by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, shouted the class. That's right, you're bright, said Mrs. Ruler. We should keep going with this project. Now let's try some acts of kindness at school. I'll add those to the wall too. Don't forget. A slice of nice makes a mile of smile. As Mrs. Ruler kept cutting out more hearts, Connor and Pablo tried some school kindness too. They invited David to sit with them at lunch, but when they finished their sandwiches, David took one of Connor's cookies. Hey, quit it, said Connor. He grabbed David's lunch bag and threw it over his head. Stop, cried Pablo. Don't you remember what Mrs. Ruler said? Good deeds fill needs. David, don't grab. And Connor, you still have four cookies. Why don't you share them with David and me? Oops, said Connor. You're right. For a moment, I forgot about being kind. And Connor gave some cookies to his friends. I agree. Here are three. Yub, said David. I'm going to ask my babysitter to help me make cookies when I get home. And then you can bring them to the school, 
said Pablo. And share them with the whole class, added Connor. And Mrs. Ruler will congratulate me for being extra kind, said David. But I still won't have done as many acts of kindness as everyone else. So think of other things to catch up, said Pablo. David didn't have to think for long. That afternoon, when Kate was cleaning the gerbils' cage, the gerbils got loose. One even jumped to the window ledge. Mrs. Ruler hopped on a chair. Eek! Squeak! She cried. Everyone ran for cover. Everyone but David. He chased the gerbils. He scooped them up one by one, and then he set them back where they belong. Hooray for David! Yelled the class. Oh, your act of kindness was the best, cried Mrs. Ruler. Now go on home and do the rest. She jumped off the chair and added the acts of kindness from that week to the wall. Mrs. Ruler and the class counted up all the hearts. By now the class had done 70 acts of kindness. That's great, but wait, said Mrs. Ruler. There's more in store. Let's keep going and spread some kindness beyond school. There are lots of kind acts you can do in the community. But we're just little kids, said David. How can we do stuff outside our house and school? I'll ask your parents to help you with community of kindness. And I'll help too, said Mrs. Ruler. All it takes is one simple act, one act of kindness that will make the world a better place. If you act from your heart and do your part, you'll end up with a hundred acts of kindness all together. Now the class was really excited and David was more excited than anyone. A few weeks later, the kids shared their acts of community kindness. Mrs. Ruler added more hearts to the wall. Again, the class counted one, two, three, until they got to 99. Oh, no, at all, oh, said Mrs. Ruler. We still need one more. Then she paused and she thought for a moment. I know. Let's have a class party. We'll decorate and celebrate. One hundred acts of kindness, shouted the class. Okay! Hooray! And that's the story of Mrs. Ruler and her class who did many, many acts of kindness. glad that Luca encouraged me to read this Simon and Schuster book for young readers to you. Isn't it fun that at the end of the book there's a great list of things you can do to spread school, family, and community kindness. This is Grandma Bye Bye saying thank you for letting me read to you and be kind. are Luca's picks up close. Find them at your local CCPL branch. We are kind by Sharon Green. Be kind by Naomi Schulman, illustrated by Hengping Pan. Janine by Marianne Coca Leffler. Each Kindness by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by E.B. Lewis. The Invisible Bear by Cecile Metzger. I Am Kind by Susie Capozzi, illustrated by Aaron 
Anton. Dr. Seuss says you are kind, featuring Horton the Elephant. The Kindness Book by Todd Parr. Trevor by Jim Averbeck, illustrated by Amy Hevron. Goat's Coat by Tom Percival, illustrated by Christine Pym. Tomorrow I'll Be Kind by Jessica Hish. If You Plant a Seed Words and Pictures by Kadir Nelson Pete the Cat's Groovy Guide to Kindness by Kimberly and James Dean I Walk with Vanessa, a story about a simple act of kindness by Care Askute. One Good Deed by Terry Fields, illustrated by Deborah Melman. Super Buns, Kindness is Her Superpower by Diane Credensor. Be Kind by Pat Zetlow Miller, illustrated by Jen Hill. Take Care by Madeline Rosenberg. Pictures by Juliana Gregori. And finally, Kindness is Cooler, Mrs. Ruler by Marjorie Kyler. Illustrated by Sajiko Yoshikawa. <laughs>